By the way, these are not advertisements. It's nothing. I just like the product. Mm. Mm, maybe I'll be funny truck here. Lovely, by the way. It was changed my mind from tablet. <laughs> It's Sunday, I'm currently doing a chicken prep for the week. Um, I get lazy cooking for myself, so I had to learn to do it on the weekend so that I have food and they're ready in the fridge to eat. Um, actually, the chicken's just for lunch, uh, so I'm gonna have like obviously the different parts of chicken over the course of the week, and so it will save me a lot of money and time when it comes to like eating it. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna do a simple roast, nothing really ecstatically exciting, but I might pair it with like pasta and like vegetables like a toss with vegetables or heat it or like a, a microwavable bag of vegetables or i'll have it with salad which i've already prepared um but i forgot to film <laughs> So, just finished my Sunday routine, I've had a shower, I did a deep clean, um, uh, exfoliated my face, my lips, my skin, my current, um, my current go-to exfoliator is, so I use the L'Occitane, I'm going to just show you, it's the L'Occitane Shea Butter one, which is a rich scrub, which is one of my favourites, I only do this once a week. I also swap it out for another old one that's called the shower scrub, the almond one, which was, I think between the two I prefer the almond one just because it's less stringent, but not in the, so basically the scrub salt in the almond one is much more finer. If you're looking for a deeper cleanse like scrub, the L'Occitane one has a more uh, coarse salt inside it so it actually depends on your preferences i only do the sheer butter one once a month or like say for instance there's an area that i really want to work on or i'm trying to look after then i'll use the sheer butter like <clears throat> mostly around the um arms the elbows the knees and the feet um the sh the other one i use quite often actually once or twice a week quite frankly because i just love the feeling it gives you also it's oil based so it's really lovely if you have like dry skin so that was the and then uh, with the face i do use the lizelle one which is also another favorite of mine and then i'm using l'occitane's a um Orm immortal reset which is a night serum that you use at night i'm using burt's bees night lip balm and then i'm gonna put um, argan oil or argan serum on my hair and um, that's about it really for now that's really my routine recently that's my routine that I've been using um, I don't really know if like I'm not really a beauty spe specialist or a skin specialist I try to stick with a lot of natural products so I use Faith in Nature shampoo, shower gel and in conditioner just because it suits my skin also I have very sensitive skin so that helps um, I try not to use astringent stuff but yeah, anyway, that's it really. Well, so I, oh, so hair wise, I do use Faith in Nature's leave-in conditioner. They're really great. Um, it's not so thick and viscous as most leave-in conditioner, but it's quite nice. I try to leave my hair to dry on its own because I find heat quite damaging on my hair. Um, one of my goals to this year is also to look after my hair a lot more. I tend to be the type of person to like pull it up into a Baha'i bum and then like I put a lot of stress onto it. Anyway, let's crack on. Put it onto a wet hair and then let it dry with the oil. Um, 
I do need to go for a haircut, but that's a thing that's not happening for a while. Um, oh, that's lovely. And finally, let me go. We do just a quick serum. We try not to have such a thick, heavy cream at night because most of the time I just rub it into the um, pillow and then it's obviously not usable. I'm sure I let the serum dry. You can use this on a marble um, roller, which it's quite refreshing in the summer. I try to evenly apply just down to the neck. You need to look after your neck as well. And then lastly, that's been. Which is really nice actually. I think it has a little bit of menthol on it. That's it. Good night. Get off my bed. It's you can't pretend to fall asleep. I wish I could pretend to fall asleep, but it's way too early in the morning now. And you had to get off. Get off. Get off. Get off. Come on, get up. Yes. Oh, let's go. Let's go for a walking. <laughs> Come on, I'm going to get up. So it's Monday morning, um, got up, made bed, head out for a walk. We're gonna do a quick reset of the house. Um, I live on the three floor house, so there's a lot of things to do on each floor. So I'm gonna give you a quick time lapse of the things that I will be getting on with. Um, trying to reset the house, I find it like if you reset the house at the beginning of the week, whether you do it on the weekend or Monday or however you do it, depending on like, Obviously, like if you have a work commitment or school commitment, it might not be the weekdays, but it might be the weekend. For me, I can do it on the Monday morning and then um, start work straight away. It's still quite early in the morning, so I'm gonna use this kind of period of time to reset when I don't have any like uh, prioritized emails or anything to do. Because I didn't reset on the weekend, I'm having to do it now, but I quite frankly like it. I like to make it a part of my scheduled work to do rather than on the weekend i don't want to stress about it i want to relax so i'm going to do some dishes i'm currently filming a uh dead chinese new year pork video here's the reason why you can see 
<laughs> hence you can see why I've got like a pork a piece of pork hanging up here. Um, no, I do not own a butcher because that's just awkward. That will be my puppy. Um, we went for a walk this morning just because I hate doing cardio on Monday. I just think Monday's already a crappy day. Why well, make it worse by putting yourself through that strenuous? But okay, so the, our new my new plan is when it comes to running because I'm not doing any like resistance training yet. I'll probably be starting that in the new month of February just because I want to get back to bringing my cardio back up to form. So I'm trying to run five, four to five days a week consistently. So that's probably the reason why you see so many footage of me running. But eventually, when I get back into like actually doing like proper exercises um like weight training things like that and get stronger in that sense then i'll be incorporating those, those in the video as well but so far um i'm in so i'm in a, currently a process of trying to apply for a job so that's been on priority just because there's a lot of things i've been wanting to start off and getting the foundations off and i only recently graduated i say that only recently it's in 2020 but it feels like quite recent, despite been working um, all that time. I'm trying to find um, trying to find what I want to do. I feel like that's literally 2022's question. Like, what do I want to do? Um, that's the goal that I'm trying to like proceed forward, and that's why I put myself into doing loads of projects and things like that. So yeah, so that's a big focus right now. Me and uh, start the time lapse. Lunchtime. I got my prepared pasta and chicken. Um, normally the portion I can make, I can, can squeeze in like five to six portions of the chicken and the pasta. Um, I think I have a feeling that I might not be able to this time, just because um, obviously it feeds other people as well. So um, yeah, it's my lunch. Try to. I'm trying to keep it portion controlled. She says portion controlled. It is hard because it's pasta. And cheese and pasta and cheese and deliciousness. But yeah, this is my Monday theme. I will be heading into a shower. I've got to clean the shower as well. But um, before I do that, I'm going to chow down this so that I can keep up with all my other chores and bits. And then I'll sit down and do some work and coffee and work and coffee. <sighs> Hi, hi guys, uh, so it's Tuesday afternoon. I haven't really kept to the original plan, but that's purely because I woke up really late this morning and had to start work early. So I'm, go I'm gonna keep to the, 
the fact that I need to go for a run and I'm not gonna miss today. Mondays are my walking days already, so Tuesday, if I don't start the run on Tuesday, I know I'll keep pushing it and making excuses. So um, I'm not gonna take my lunch break as I normally would. I'm just gonna run and then have lunch during work. It makes, I guess that's my forfeit for today. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do a quick two minute on, two minute off, as many repetitions as I can make to fit into my cardio and uh, no excuses if you woke up late you've got to do the same you've got to forfeit your lunch especially if you're working from home I know people who are probably not right now working in the office so you have no excuse to get out even if it's for a walk um, it's good for your mental health um, it was blue Monday yesterday and I'm feeling blue Tuesday today as well I don't really want to work but I've got to go out for a run and I've got to do it now so I'm gonna squeeze in a run now. Um, luckily I did some food prep, which means I can just put that into the microwave and have it once I get back. I might have it during a meeting, put my camera off um, or whatever, I'm in, whatever task I'm doing. But that's the reason why I knew why I needed a food prep on the weekend, because I just know that I would forget, like forget running. I'll prioritize the food and therefore that kind of domino effect ruins your whole like day. So I'm gonna get running now. It's quite busy actually at lunchtime outside in the park. I've met so many dogs on their way of like, probably just their lunch break walking. So yeah, it's actually quite nice. It's really cold this morning. It was minus one degrees this morning, but right now it's actually a good five degrees. So actually, to some extent, I'm giving myself that like advantage that I'm running in the cold. But it mean, it's more of a reason why I need to get into that uh, scheduled morning run so that I don't delay or not have a lunch break and also it means that I can stay inside for the rest of the day anyway this is something you got you got you got to just do it just do it let's keep going Where are you going? Yeah! Yeah! morning guys um, it's Wednesday morning um, unfortunately did wake up late again I'm just not used to this 6am thing I honestly need to be out myself um, woke up late but not late enough to not go for a run and I was convincing myself that I should just do a walk with the puppy and then like just give up the idea of it and then I thought to myself like I'm only making the situation worse because I'm still going out. So if you ever had that thought process where you <clears throat> where you think you should go out, you know you should go out, but then you're like, nah, I'll just go for a walk instead. Don't get me wrong, getting out is a, one is already difficult because it's cold outside, you don't want to get out and leave your bed. So you've already achieved the first thing, you're going out. Secondly, when you think about it, you're going out for a walk. It's quicker to a run, so you might as well just take the liberty of just taking the that going out to make it into a run and i think that was the hardest part to convince myself and in fairness like i know that sounds easy just do it but it really isn't not in the morning well not when you haven't had a really good night's sleep so i did a run this morning really chuffed i did do it like i did make that decision and just went with it not so chuffed that i feel horrible this morning I was so tired and so like thingy. So yeah, I just came back from a run. So roll on the five minutes of me doing stretches, opening my back and my lungs out, um, stretching my inner hip flexors and my IT bands because they're really tight. And uh, yeah, roll on the time lapse. Hi 
Hi guys, it's Saturday, so it's the day of um, the video being released, but I just wanted to say something quickly, so <laughs> update and keeping myself accountable. Um, so, keeping myself accountable, and, oh, okay, snuggly. Can you see him? <laughs> so, just keeping myself accountable. Uh, I did run the day that I last filmed, which was this which was a couple of seconds for you guys. I didn't film any of the running because I didn't do any running. Didn't do any running on Friday because I got really busy as well. And also waking up late and I really need to shake off this undoing of my habits. So just to clarify, my habits are waking up at six, between six to seven and then getting a half an hour read and a run at all, some form of cardio um, just before I had to come back start uh, work, shower, etc, things like that and it didn't happen and um, and it didn't happen this morning because again uh, it's been a very very, not stressful week but it's just been a very um, packed week and therefore I haven't really prioritised my so called routines <laughs> so called my, I haven't prioritised my routines and I, don't, I know that's not a good thing but I'm keeping myself accountable but what I want to say before this week's like kind of third week of the project 50 ends um is that following my routines i thought it'd be really nice to add this little bit in it's a little sh short clip so basically um regarding uh, regarding to one of my regarding to one of my like resolutions i really want to look after both my internal body and my external body so one of them is my hair my nails and my skin and i have been doing very well um with oh no what are you doing i have been doing really well with like you know exfoliating my hair and you know um exfoliating my exfoliating my, exfoliating my hair exfoliating my skin and, and conditioning my hair and all that sort of lovely bits where i have been doing really well on but the one thing i have need to remind myself is i need to take care of my internal guts and stuff like that so i've taken um so i'm currently taking a multivitamin now um i get a lot of my nutrients from food already so i'm not really worried about supplements like this but i find that sometimes i do miss a couple of supplements that i don't take from food and therefore i'd rather have it all covered so a multivitamin is something i take before i go to bed i think because i think that's the most v useful time to take her a vitamin especially because I'm going to bed and I'm like my body repairing itself, so motivation is really handy. Now, with my hair and my skin, I'm taking actually collagen um, gummy tablets. Both of these are gummies. I find them far more digestible and a lot more easier to take down than like the pills ones. You've seen me taking the pills one earlier this week. Those are my last, like I've got a couple of days worth of that. So I'm going to take these ones today to show you, but they're, they're really cool. And they're from my vitamin, which is the part of the group, the hot group, the whatever group they're called. Because um, they also do my protein as well. <laughs> they're hyper interested. They smell like strawberries, don't they? So this is a strawberries multivitamin. And for the, I'm going to be careful because I've got the dog. Um, and then for the hair and skin and nail gummies, I've got the blueberry one. I have to say, because I did try these um, yesterday, because I just, they had just arrived yesterday. I had to say the texture of the two are very different. Um, they have a one's got a more gummier texture, which I presume it's just because of the ge gelatin. Um, yeah, this one has gelatin, gelling agent is in it, and I don't think this one does. Uh, it, this one just has pectin. That makes sense. So one's a bit more of a chewy consistency, like a bit of a wine gum consistency, and the other one's a bit more like like those. Um, like, if you've ever had, oh, this is a really good example, actually. If you had those strawberries from Haribo's, which, like, you can just slice through your teeth. It's not really gummy, but it's, like, that kind of texture. Anyway, so, I thought you guys want to know, like, um, they're currently doing a sale right now. They're always doing a sale. They're really good with, like, offers and stuff like that. So, if you guys need those top-up supplements, I do suggest these because they do work for me. I find that my hair's always constantly shiny and strong and like my skin always feels really nice. Especially my nails. I used to have um fungus oh, that's it. I used to have like a really horrible issue with um one of my nails. And honestly uh, both of these the collagen tablets have been a, truly a blessing because it gets rid of all of that and also it's really like 
good to top up on your collagen it's something that you lose over time as you grow older and then when you grow up you kind of lose more and more collagen and therefore you get wrinkly skin people can take it in other forms there's also like gels and like um and like creams that you can use i prefer taking it in supplements i don't replace any of this as a supplement for anything else and if you ha if any dietary issue you have please go and see someone professional i'm not professional i'm just taking it on the basis of my experiences so called but i do really like these as just a pick me up especially because my like nails needed it and i can't say how grateful i am how like well they've like improved one my like nail texture and nail feel and the strength of it and that goes with my hair um the one thing i need to start doing it with my hair is to stop tying it up so tightly and like wearing it or like using heat products or using heat to dry it up or anything like that so yeah that's one of my improvements so next week i'm hoping um to basically <laughs> um next week i'm hoping to like shake off this kind of bad week i've only gone for two runs definitely gonna go for tomorrow for a run i did go for a walk quite a few walks this weekend so it, um this week i have been going for quite a few walks in replace of the run especially because i still need to walk this little one but sometimes it's not really like the right time especially if i've eaten straight or straight before it it's just so hard to run on a full stomach so hopefully like tomorrow starting fresh I'm gonna reset like everything and hopefully we can like walk away just learning and being accountable of my last week and not not blaming myself i'm not blaming anything it was just a very busy week and it happens but yeah so i hope you guys have a lovely weekend and um i see you in week four because we've got it's only been four weeks out of 50 and i've been really enjoying these because it's giving me accountable and there's a lot more to improve on and i can't wait to start showing you guys like my proper workouts that i do and proper exercises i do all those little fun bits and i've been talking to my mum who's a physio she's been helping out me with my, my diet i am trying to be i'm trying to educate myself a lot about this so it takes a long time but like you know, 50 weeks is a long period of time to make that life change, even if it's just one thing at a time. And I think, don't rush it. One thing I will say is, drink your water, stay hydrated, do what you, makes you happy. And if exercising is not in your plan or you don't feel up for it, don't do it. Uh, I'm not advertising um, any of this. I'm just saying that if you don't feel up to it, like I wasn't feeling up to it the last two days, don't do it improve next week improve tomorrow and uh yeah have a good weekend take care by the way these are not advertisements it's my fault i just like the product mm. Mm. Maybe be a funny lovely by the way it was changed my mind from tablets mm.